Hi guys from Team Nurses Handbook. Today I bring to you some multiple choice questions from the topic thoracentesis. It may be helpful for you in various nursing preparatory exams as well as for your vivas. Question number one, accumulation of pus in the pleural cavity is known as options are A. Chylothorax, B. Pneumothorax, C. Empyma and D. None of the above. And the correct answer is option C. Empyma. Question number two, the cause of amber colored pleural fluid is options are A. Tuberculosis, B. Cardiac failure, C. Acute pancreatitis and D. Obstruction of the thoracic duct. And the correct answer is option A, tuberculosis. Question number three, dash is more sensitive and accurate in detecting pleural effusion. Options are A, chest auscultation, B, ultrasound, C, chest x-ray and D, chest percussion. And the correct answer is B, ultrasound. Other methods also helps in detecting the pleural effusion, but the best and the accurate method is by ultrasound. Question number 4. Amount of fluid drawn for diagnostic purpose is options are A 150 to 200 ml, B 30 to 75 ml, C 1500 to 2000 ml and option D 100 to 150 ml and the correct answer is option B 30 to 75 ml. Question number 5. Collection of blood in pleural space is known as A hemothorax, B empyma, C. Pneumothorax and D. Chylothorax and the correct answer is A. Hemothorax. Question number 6. The most common complication of thoracentesis is A. Vasovagal syncope, B. Pneumothorax, C. Tumor seeding and D. Mediastinal shift and the correct answer is option B. Pneumothorax. Pneumothorax means the collection of air in the pleural space. It is one of the common complications and frequently requires chest tube insertion. Question number 7. Dash is the cause of dry thoracentesis. Options are A. Absence of pleural fluid. B. Incorrect needle placement. C. Thick pleural fluid. And D. All of the above. And the correct answer is D. All of the above. Question number 8. Pleural fluid for cell count is to be collected in A. Serum vials, yellow in color B. EDTA vials, that is lavender in color C. Sodium citrate vial, blue in color and D. In any of them And the correct answer is B. That is EDTA vial, which is lavender in color Question number 9. Size of the needle used for thoracentesis is a 18 gauge, B 24 gauge, C 20 gauge and D 22 gauge and the correct answer is option A 18 gauge needle. Question number 10. At what level is the needle insertion for thoracentesis contraindicated? Option A above the 9th rib, option B below the 9th rib, C above 8th rib and D none of the above. And the correct answer is option B that is below the 9th rib in order to prevent subdiaphragmatic or intra-abdominal injury. Question number 11 in the cause of blood stained pleural fluid is option A tuberculosis, option B pulmonary infarction or malignancy, option C increased triglycerides and option D rheumatoid disease. And the correct answer is option B, pulmonary infarction or malignancy. Question number 12. Adding of 1 ml of heparin to the syringe used for collecting pleural fluid helps in Option A, improving the quality of cytological examination. Option B, prevent clotting of chyle. Option C, prevent clotting of proteinaceous fluid. And option D, both A and C. And the correct answer is option D, both A and C. Thank you for watching. A few more questions will be shared from this topic in the upcoming video that is on MCQ on Thoracentesis Part 2. So stay tuned and do like, share and subscribe to our channel Nurses Handbook.